seal guys all right uh, another another part in my little bodywork tip video so you come to this little area right here it's kind of a really I don't know it looks real difficult it's really swooshy and it's got a lot of swooping lines to it so what I'm doing is I, I took my soft block here and obviously it used to be a like a 320 grit sanding paper but what I'm doing is I'm kind of making a round edge to it you know rounding it out a little bit see what I mean so you can fold it and then I'm taking this this part of the block and you're just kind of rolling it and you're not you don't want to go straight down you want to kind of roll it side I don't know if you can tell that and then you're doing kind of side to, a side to side kind of motion you don't want to go straight down you don't want to go straight down on it you want to go just like everything else you sand cross you kind of cross it same with this little area watch your watch your block too you don't want to you don't want to be going like this you're going to wear down this body line see what i mean if you were doing that you'd be rubbing on this body line so you kind of want to watch the bottom of your paper sorry kind of difficult to do this so and then yeah so you're just kind of working that out and you're rolling it too you're not just do you doing like this you're rolling it you want to roll it because you want to follow the contour of this this body line and you want to get that real nice and emphasized so and there's another way the soft block kind of comes in handy like that because uh, take like these edges all I all I've been doing and this is kind of what my buddy told me it, you can you can make them real pointy you can get them get them built up so I'm not gonna do it all the way because I did it on that side but if you sanded this edge sanded this real sharp this sharp this sharp you'll have a pretty sharp line here but then you're still gonna have an area left here where you didn't get it sanded so what I all I did was just kind of push the block down and then go and like I said I don't want to do it yet but just get it on there and then work it back and forth and then same way this way I mean I, I don't know my buddy like I said my buddy from body work experience kind of told me this he told me to do something like do that and I asked him what he, what he did with these lines and that's really all he said he did so uh, I'll kind of show you here in a minute all right so got most of this sanded down this is a spot where the epoxy is about to pop through so I just kind of stop so like I was saying with these lines so here's here's all I dude and like I said this is just going off of experienced person telling me what to do so just kind of work it back and forth and I usually just run down the whole car one direction And I am applying pressure so that it lays to the contour of that line. So you can kind of see it already kind of did it up. I'm going to switch hands. We're going to go this way. I'm more right handed than left. So. <laughs> And like I said, I'm going at an angle, not, not straight up and down. I don't know if you can tell that. So it feels nice and good, you know, nice and solid. The hard lines getting out of there. See, I got a little bit of Shit in the high build there. Focus, focus. So I gotta try to get sand that little piece out of there. But you can tell it's it's laying out pretty smooth. 
see if I can get the camera to focus on the line there. So, all right, y'all, that's, I'm gonna get that finished up and then probably cut you back with something. All right, guys, back at you here. Uh, so one question I got was how you do body lines. And I don't know if you can really tell in the sunlight, but my lines are pretty sharp. So, and once again, these are, this is a tip that I got from my buddy that did body work for a long time. So, uh, I got the tape here. So if you notice, the tape is on the line, the body line. So what you want to do is you lay the tape down on the line. You obviously want to try to get in there and look at where the line is. And sometimes if you haven't sanded anything yet, it's not going to be a big deal. You can like take your sand, your sanding block and just kind of lightly graze it. That way you can actually see that line. Um, so then you lay the tape down, you lay it right on that line, make sure it's a, try to make it as straight edge as you can, straight as line as you can. And then what you want to do is, I have my sanding block here. Now while you're sanding, you want to go away from the line. So you don't want to sand down to it. You want to set your thing down, set your block down and sand up away from the line. too much here I already did that so now I'll, I'll kind of and then when you you know you sand away from the line get this whole line sanded out this line will be nice and sharp um, and then you know do the do the rest of the panel um, and then same on the back here sand away from the line always away and then uh, I'll, I'll show you here in a minute and then when you do the bottom, so you leave this tape here and then you tape right on this line on the top and then you obviously peel the tape off. So I'm gonna do that right now and you'll see what I mean. All right. All right, so now you see I got the two strips of tape on here. This being the new one, this being the old one. So make sure the top one, the new one is all pressed down and then go ahead and peel off your bottom tape. Straggler there. So there you go. Now, like I said, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna sand down from this line. Once you're done, when you finish the panel, peel your tape off. And then you might have, I'll, I'll cut you back. Peel your tape off when you're done. So I'll just cut you back here. All right, so done sanding this. Went a little low there. I'm really good at going low but the key is to stop. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and take this piece of tape off and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. If I can get the damn tape off. Come on, all right. So we'll get this off here. All right. So now you see what I mean. We got a little line here. So now we just got to kind of sand it away. And what you want to do is Do the same action so you're gonna you're gonna keep your sander flat on each surface that you're going from this is just how I do it and I mean I got some pretty good lines so all I do is I like I said I just kind of start at the line you know slowly and then just kind of work my way away from the line same with the top away 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 and then I just kind of get closer and closer to that, to the center edge of this line. And then if I have any of this, you know, guide coat left, then I'll just take my, my little soft block and I'll just kind of, you know, not, not putting too much pressure, but in my palm, just kind of rolling the soft block, you know what I mean? Not keeping it flat, but just a little bit. And then just trying to work that, that hard line, that uh, paint line out of it. And uh, I'll get that done and kind of show you what happens. Okay, so tapes off, line sanded. Let's see if I can get a good look down that line. No, 
if y'all can, I mean, you can see it, but. So from the touch of it, it's real nice and crisp, real sharp. So you do that, you'll get nice sharp lines. Yeah, I know my line ain't quite right. It's pretty close though. Just maybe 16th off or so. But you do it like that, you'll get a nice crisp line. And I suggest, you know, whatever, if you're working, work. if you really want to, you could build the filler first like this, you know, maybe lay some filler on the line. You'd get some hella lines that way. Um, I did in some areas, like this area, I did a patch. At least I think I did. No, this one didn't need a patch. The other side, I did a patch where I, sorry, where I came up and came that way. So I had filler through most of this. Um, but, uh, you know, like the door, this had the chrome strips. So I had a lot of filler through the bottom of this because there's little rivets and shit. I think they came up pretty high, but so there you go. And like I said, if you really want some nice crisp lines, you could put your filler on, do the same thing, run a piece of tape on your line, make sure it's straight, sand your filler that way, top and bottom. And then, then when you go to do the high build primer, you'll have some hella lines, but I'm pretty happy with the way mine are turning out. So um, I don't think that these lines are even that crisp before. Um, and then to kind of touch on, uh, I, God, I'm sorry, dude, I can't remember your name, your YouTube handle, but uh, to kind of touch on the main question was with the G body panels, uh, replacement panels. So this was the quarter that I replaced. Uh, I think I had it to about here. So from here, this is all gbodyparks.com replacement panel. Um, and I'm not afraid to show you all my, my fuck up. I did, I did fuck this one up. You probably can't tell right now, but my body line, I mean, you can see how the, how it kind of droops out right there. This body line didn't quite stay right. So it kind of actually divots in a little bit. The body line kind of gets gets out of whack right here. So yeah, you can see it. It's it goes straight, 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 and then it gets kind of out of whack. So my suggestion would be if you're doing the, the G body parts panels, their lines aren't quite as crisp. They just kind of rolled them. They got rolled edges on these lines. They're not straight to a point. They're just kind of rolled. So my suggestion would be get your panel on as straight as you can. Get it on as good as you can. Get everything lined up, you know, tack it in, do your thing. And then when you go to do, before you do the paint or the epoxy or the high build, I would almost lay some filler on that body line. See, I didn't do this. I wish I would have. I did, actually I did, but I didn't, my buddy didn't come by and give me a hand with any of this shit until after the fact. So he kind of showed me what to do after the fact. But anyway, so lay your filler on it and then build that line up sharp. You can get that rolled line to look real sharp and then you can get it all nice and all nice and straight with there. And then once you continue to do your tape, your tape lines, then you'll be all right. So, all right, this video is getting way too long. So I'm What up guys? That's not my car, is it? Well, I'm gonna throw the conclusion to this little body video. Um, we got the car switched out. Mine's on the trailer. CJ's is at my house. We're about to leave this thing here for a few weeks. And then we're taking my car to uh, his house because he's got a much nicer garage, much more sealed garage. And we're gonna get that bitch painted so the next video you see from me, which will be a few weeks, uh, will be probably painting. So wish us luck. We got a lot of prep work to do. Uh, thought I'd, I know I think he'll probably make a video, but I'll just throw this in mind real quick. We got his Kirky seats put in. Some reason my flash ain't on. 
but we got our brackets made for this thing. My buddy that welded them said that we over-engineered them, but fuck him. <laughs> but yeah, they, they look nice. Uh, they're real solid. We used some heavy gauge steel. We probably did over-engineer them, but I think we're all right. I'd rather have them too solid than not solid enough. So there we got that going. Uh, next, we got to put a roll bar in this bitch. Yeah. So, all right, y'all. That's my end of my video. So about to make the voyage. <laughs>